After bursting on the scene in the 2013 playoffs, Jean-Gabriel Peugeot looked like he was ready to break out as an NHL regular. While he did bounce around the minors in the following years, he's now cemented his status as a key piece of the Sens in this, his first full season in the NHL. Looking back on his travels between Ottawa and Binghamton, he credits his AHL coaches for helping him focus on his goal of making the next level. It's not always easy uh, when you're getting down. Uh, it's hard on your confidence, uh, but um, when I was getting down, uh, Luke Richardson and uh, Steve Sterling were uh, helping me a lot uh, to keep focusing on my job and working hard. And uh, they, they were telling me I would have my chance back. So uh, when I was having my chance back, um, I was just trying to, to give everything to stay with the big team. And uh, I finished the season here uh, on, a, on a great run. And uh, it was a plus for me to be with, with the team during that part for sure. One of the reasons Peugeot finished last year as a part of Ottawa's incredible run to the playoffs is how much new Sens head coach Dave Cameron trusts him. The Sens pivot has seen an increase in ice time since Cameron was hired last December and says his coach has helped him and the team push themselves every day. Just um, bring the, the maximum of me. Uh, just make sure I was going out there and give the maximum every day and do uh, pay attention to all the little details. I think that's something that he puts a... Uh, a lot of uh, effort on and then I think uh, all the teams getting uh, getting after it and um, that's something that I was trying to do uh, just pay attention to all the details and work as hard as I can and uh, I think that puts a chance on our side. Cameron's trust in Peugeot is rooted in the success of his shutdown line last season with Curtis Lazar and now Tampa Bay Lightning forward Eric Condra. While Peugeot has adjusted to new line mates this year he still remembers fondly how well that line worked together last season. I think we had a good chemistry, uh, not only on the ice, but uh, off the ice uh, with Kondra and uh, Lazar. Uh, we're three good friends, so it helps a lot when you go back on the ice and uh, you know where the player's going to be. And uh, even if I'm French, French uh, the communication was, uh, was not too hard, and uh, we, we played uh, all the, the same way. Peugeot has carved out a niche as a defensive specialist in the NHL but he averaged a point a game playing junior in the QMJHL before turning pro. Although his role in Ottawa is different than his high-scoring junior days, he takes pride in playing important minutes as a valuable shutdown guy. It's a role that I like to play. Uh, just be hard and uh, do all the, the little details, finish my uh, all, the, all the plays and uh, work really hard. And uh, I have some time on the PK too. Uh, penalty killing and um, that's something that I'm proud of killing and uh, killing, killing pen penalties I mean and um, it's, uh, it's something different than when I was younger but uh, to play in the NHL I I'll do whatever role to, that it takes to play here and uh, I'm very happy to, to do it here. As a local product from Gatineau who grew up on the Quebec side of the river many would expect Pajot grew up a rival Habs fan but the 23 year old instead grew up as a Red Wings fan during Detroit's late 90s to early 2000s dominance. While he admits there weren't many other Red Wings fans in Gatineau, he eventually saw the light and chose the right team when the Sens organization chose him in the 2011 NHL draft. It was either Abs or Ottawa, so, uh, but when I got drafted, for sure, um, I, I started to, to like the Senators and now I'm, I'm very happy to be part of the Senators and I'm proud to play for them and um, I think my family is, uh, is now happy for me and the cheer for the Sens too. Being a French player in a bilingual city, Peugeot relishes his opportunity to be an ambassador on both sides of the border. And after seeing firsthand just how many people rally behind the Sens in the nation's capital, he wants to help deliver the Stanley Cup to the passionate and patient local fans who are salivating for their first cup win after waiting more than 20 years. Oh, it's great uh, to get uh, fans from uh, from everywhere. Uh, I think we travel a little bit in the summer, Rockland, Gatineau, uh, to get the people from both sides of the river. It's, it's great for the for the team. Um, I think uh, after their season last year, the fans really jumped in into it, and um, they support us really well. And uh, kept going this year so far. Uh, they are unbelievable. Now we just want to get a win for them. Well, it may be a short trip to the Canadian Tire Center from his childhood home just across the river. Pajot's actual journey to Ottawa has taken much longer. But now that he's established himself as a key part of the team's core, the local native will surely be a part of many more cup runs for his hometown team in the future. For OT The Hockey Show, I'm John Williamson.